you were a first-time tourist or balik bayan to Bohol and wanted to get the inside track on the province's hottest deals, discounts, and promos to attractions, restaurants, and events. Now, what if you were a Boholana native and you want to share your unique insights about the province on a website? Well, one local startup has done just that. Tarshare has got tonight's bright idea. I'm RJ Ladesma. And I wish more Bright Ideas episodes were just like this. We're here in Bohol together with Thomas Reidenauer and Marvin Elaba. And they're the founders of a proudly Boholano-born startup, which is called Tar Share. How appropriate. What a clever play on terms. Yeah. Uh -huh. So again, I'm looking at you, Thomas. You don't seem to be a Boholano native to me. And uh, Marvin, apparently you're not either. You're not from, uh, you're not from this area. I'm from here. I'm I, from I, Bohol. Oh, you're from Bohol. Yeah. You're from Bohol. So, I understand you've got a very interesting story. So, uh, Thomas, how did you find yourself here in Bohol? I'm uh, born in the Philippines, but my parents were missionaries. I see, I see. And my Asawa is uh, from Mindanao. From Mindanao. Uh, several years ago, we were vacationing here with my wife, and we got stuck by a storm. We ran out of money. We had no place to go. And then the, the locals took care of us. And so that, that's when you got stuck here in, uh, in Bohol, basically, in this yes. area over here. Now, I, I want to know how did you and you, how did you guys come together to put up Tarshare? Uh, actually, we met in a coffee shop. That's right. and everything started there. Okay, yeah, just how ran did you, into each other. How did you, you bump into each other? How did you start talking about this business? Um, he, was, he was working on um, some websites, and I saw that and just struck up a conversation. And within a couple of weeks, we, we were throwing back ideas and we came up with this idea. Okay, that, that's interesting. Very quick, yeah. Now, what is Tarshare all about? And what was the irritation that you guys were trying to address by putting up Tarshare? So actually, Tarshare is, from the name Tarshare, it's a combination of Tarshare mm -hmm. and the word share. Okay. So we want to highlight the whole, so that's why we use Tarshare. And we created an app to share information so when locals or tourists come here, they know what's happening around the area. Okay, so, so basically, um, what the app is all about is for people like me from Manila or anywhere around, yes. when they come to Bohol, uh, they might need some unique knowledge yes. of the area. Tr local knowledge. Unique and uh, real knowledge. Real the, knowledge. The, the correct one. And so they go basically to your app. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I see. And also, Marvin, you were saying there's another one that it's also a sharing app. So aside from being on an app where people go for, let's say, unique uh, travel experiences or insights. It's really building a, a, an, an online community of people sharing unique knowledge yeah, about the whole on Tar Share. Share, yes. Tar -share. That's, 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 their... that's very interesting. So yeah. what are they going to be sharing on Tar Share? Uh, things like the rates or how to get to a certain place, what's the unique vi places to visit in the area. What, what are the, uh, the, thing, the, uh, the right fare? Because sometimes people get scammed, so like we just met the people and then they said uh, they charge a lot of money to travel here. So we want also to prevent that, to, to invite more people that this place is amazing and then also I see. do the right thing. Yeah. And so basically, how do you plan to get this um, this new app of the Notar Share? I mean, usually the people who look at it, um, they only find out probably when they're already here. Correct. And by the time that they're here, they haven't been able to use the, the advantages of knowing the great rates or the great place to visit. How do you plan to market our share? So actually, our target is first the locals because sometimes locals can be a victim also to the like, that they even get lost even though they're here. Like if I'm from a certain place and I go to Panglao and then I, I got lost, it's because I still don't know that place. So the first target is local and hopefully some departments in the government uh -huh. wanted to help us. So we'll start putting the signs like the app is available in the seaport and airport. I see. And, hope, and we are also trying to advertise it online and we are trying targeting the people, the like Koreans, Japan, Japanese, and Europeans and, uh, from... So basically, if primarily it's for locals and secondarily it's for tourists, am I right? I think it's 50-50. 50-50, like it's everyone can benefit from it. Yeah. Okay, now since it's a sharing app, uh, the question that comes to mind for me is what is the business model here? How do you plan to make money from Tarshare? Or is it, uh, is it a money-generating app? Or is it meant to be a, a sort of like a, a, a social enterprise app or, or an app that, is, uh, like, that runs like an NGO? Actually, it's a uh, subscription type app where we go also to the businesses. Like when they see the app, they also see the nearby businesses. 
and then we put the advertisement there and they'll just subscribe to us the businesses around as the, you mean you mean it's gonna be an advertising model they'll, yeah. be, pay, they'll be paying you guys for the ads so yeah and that's how you plan to regenerate the income from the, uh, from the app it's really for them to put uh put their money behind uh where Bohol is and right. advertise themselves over here and right. also we will add the uh loyalty thing right, right. the way when they click that when the people see the ad they click it they get a discount in there so it's also good marketing because they're going there because they have a discount it's very interesting how you plan to put this app together uh it's it's very unique in the sense that what you're doing is something that shows pride of place at the same time where you get unique knowledge of a specific area right after the break we'll find out how a boholano based startup might become relevant not just for bohol but for the rest of the country